is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So a little something different today. This is me expanding into my home content, but I wanted to do a first impressions and assembly of the classic lounge chair by Levity. When I was buying these chairs, I just feel like there's not a whole lot of reviews and content out there around these chairs. So I was like, I might as well make it since I bought it. So I bought two classic lounge chairs in the same color for my new house and we're just working on putting in new floors, getting things set up, and we finally have the chance to put these together. So as you can see, I already put one together behind me. I just wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I like came on here and showed you. So what drew me to Levity in the first place when I was shopping for furniture is that their chair covers are machine washable. So I am deathly afraid of like staining furniture that I like spent good money on and I've always always wanted like a light color furniture but I always just get so scared of like any sort of staining or dirt or anything that makes it really hard to clean and then it just like looks dingy after a while and so I've always gone to more like darker or richer colors for my seating but I really really wanted something lighter so that's why I purchased these. So I just want to take a minute and go through sort of their customer service, my ordering experience, uh, how long it took to ship. So if you are looking for just the assembly section, go ahead and skip to that. I will timestamp it here and also down below in my description box. But I ordered my two identical classic lounge chairs from Levity over Labor Day because they had a Labor Day sale, which I believe was 15% off everything. In the confirmation email, they indicated that it would take anywhere between two to four weeks. Obviously, you all know there's like this huge furniture supply chain issue right now. So I was like, okay, it's probably gonna be closer to four or even longer than that. But the chairs arrived in three weeks, which was exactly in their window that they specified. So that was really awesome. So I'm gonna like pop some screenshots over here, but this is the listing as you would see today. When I purchased the chairs, there were this additional leg option that was cherry. Um, and this is what they look like. So this is how they came. And when I was putting it together, I noticed that there weren't any holes for these legs on the bottom of the chair. And so I emailed customer service. I was like, hey, the chairs came, they're in great condition, but I'm missing the holes for these legs. So within one day, they emailed me back and they said, hey, you know, we're going through this transition period where we are discontinuing these cherry legs and um, I can send you the walnut legs free of charge. So sorry about that. Or I can like refund you and process a return. So seeing that I was, you know, pretty excited to try out these chairs, I was like, okay, like I will accept the walnut legs. No problem. Like, please send me the two sets. The new legs t did take about a week to a week and a half to arrive in like a separate box. When they did arrive, however, three of the eight legs uh, did have damage on them. It just looked like they got scraped during transport. So I sent customer service a picture and I emailed them again saying, hey, replacement legs are here. Uh, some are damaged, please send new ones. And she responded again in less than a day, said, oh my gosh, so sorry about that. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to make it right we have sent a new set of legs and you can just dispose of the old one. So I really like that I didn't have to deal with any returns because you know it's obvious that they were not going to do anything with the cherry legs or the damaged walnut legs anyway. So I didn't have to bother with a return. Customer service was always getting back to me in about a day or less. And the new replacement set of legs came and they looked good finally. And it did come faster this time. It was less than a week. So anyway, it, by the time it was all said and done, it was probably like six weeks after I initially placed the order to the time when I had like everything here undamaged to put together. Anyway, let's go put this other chair together. So when your chair arrives, one chair comes in two separate boxes. So when I ordered two, I had four boxes arrive. In the boxes, they have two separate instructions or guides. So one is the assembly of the chair itself and one is the chair cover guide. So it shows you how to get the covers on it and how to wash them. So there's four pieces to this chair and it's all upholstered in this kind of like film rubbery type substance that is water resistant. So you take what is the bottom of the chair and you rip the Velcro 
flap back and you take the hardware kit and you put one washer to one screw there should be enough um, and you take the long ones and you screw them in so you want to put the back of the chair on the ground and put the bottom of the chair on top of the back of the chair and you start with the two that go into the back of the chair and then you take the two separate arm pieces and you hold it up against it and put the screws in there. So these are all the longer screws that are in that hardware kit. And you don't want to be screwing these in super tight. Like, you know, you want to get them in there, make sure nothing is falling off. But there's one step before tightening all of these all the way. So there are six in total, six long screws with the washers that will go into this section. And so once you put those in, this is what it will look like. So you have your arms attached to your bottom, which is also attached to the back of the chair. And then you want to tip this so that it is upright and find the little bracket that's on the back of the chair that will go into the hole on the side. And I believe these screws are a little bit smaller, but you want to make sure that this is tight in there. Then when you flip the chair back on its back, that is when you want to tighten the initial six screws that you had put in earlier. So that makes sure that the structure of the chair is tight and it's together, it's not wobbly, nothing is shifting around, and you can put that Velcro uh, flat back where it's supposed to be. So next, it's just putting some legs together so they each have three screws, as you can see. Okay, so I just wanna let you know that before I put the second chair together, I did not inspect all the pieces because I just assumed it would be manufactured exactly as that first one. Um, but I'm trying to screw the last leg on and it is not going to work because I'm missing a screw hole. Let me show you. So here are the three holes that the leg screws are supposed to go into. As you can see, these two look normal. They've got the thread in them. This one is just like the fabric that is right here. So there's nothing for me to like go into. It's not guided, threaded like these. Before I send them an email, I'm just going to take a knife and cut the fabric to see if it's hiding under there. Okay, after cutting this amount of fabric out, it looks like the screw hole does exist, thank goodness. Otherwise, oh my gosh, I was gonna have to email them again. So after that crisis was averted, this is what all four legs look like on the chair. And that's it for the base chair assembly. So you're ready for the cover. You want to take the big chair cover, find that long zipper, and put that in the lower right side, so where I'm standing in this clip. Um, the cover should just stretch over the chair. It does fit pretty snug, so you'll have to take some time to like move some fabric around um, because it will feel tight, but it will look good, I promise. So once that's on there, you want to take the two snap buttons on the inside back corners of those cushions and snap them onto the bottom cushion. And this will just prevent the cover from moving around too much. Flip the chair back on its back. I know it's a lot of flipping back and forth, but you want to stretch the bungee cords over the pegs on the bottom. That way there's no like weird flaps on the bottom and it's held snug against the bottom of your chair. And then you zip it up and that's the base chair. So then you want to grab the back cushion and the bottom cushion and throw them in the covers that they provided. You just stuff them like you would any regular pillow. So um, not much to show you guys here. I believe the bottom cushion technically has like a correct side to go on top. There's like a memory foam side, I think, that's a little bit firmer than the other side. For me, it was kind of hard to tell which side was correct, but you can easily just flip the, um, the whole thing back and forth too if you, know, if you find that you didn't get it right the first time. So they fit pretty snugly and you just assemble it and that is what the finished chair looks like. I really like how this looked. Um, it was pretty easy to assemble once I had the right pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and let me know what you think. I hope to see you next time. Bye.